New developments tonight in the efforts to build a memorial for the victims of the Pulse nightclub attack. The nonprofit that was planning to build the memorial announced last week it was shutting down. And all new tonight, we're working more about why the One Pulse Foundation is dissolving. We're learning some more about this. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us now live in the newsroom. So, Mike, the organization says it was having trouble raising money. That's right, Matt. The One Pulse Foundation ultimately raised about $20 million over the past seven years. Some elected leaders are calling for an audit to better understand how that money was spent. But one of the foundation's leaders says a big challenge was actually getting more money. Procedurally, you're going to find Everything was clean, very clean. George Calagridis, vice chair of the One Pulse Foundation, says the nonprofit was very responsible with donations, despite concern from some Orange County commissioners. One thing I hear consistently is what's happened to the money? Where did the money go? The foundation's problem, says Calagridis, was getting everyone to agree on how to build a memorial and museum that would honor the victims of the 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting. Anytime it's an event or a project is based on the tragedy such as this, it becomes very difficult to reach any type of consensus. Caligridis, who once served as president of Walt Disney World, says immediately after the deadly attack, there was immense public support for the project. But that changed. What we were starting to find out was that people, corporations in particular, had very little interest in donating toward a memorial and just as little toward a museum. So the project was downsized, but then costs skyrocketed following the COVID-19 pandemic. Another problem, obtaining the Pulse nightclub property. The foundation originally planned to purchase it for $2 million, but Caligridis says many donors believe the owners, Barbara Poma and her business partner, should have donated their property. And as we tried to raise money, we kept getting pushback because people did not feel that we should use that money to purchase the land from her, from the owners. Last month, the city of Orlando agreed to buy the Pulse nightclub property for $2 million and take over the job of building the memorial. That decision ultimately prompted the One Pulse Foundation to dissolve, says its vice chair. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mike DeForest, News 6. Back to you.